So tell us about TriCaster and, and its utility for doing live webcasts like you guys are doing today. Well, the TriCaster is basically a live television studio in a box. They, they retail for around starting at $5,000, and it allows you to mix multiple live cameras, add in graphics, roll in video clips, and even put your talent in a virtual set, and at the same time stream that out to the world, send it to satellite or digital signage. You can mix cameras, and then you can also have multiple outputs in different formats, or explain that? Yeah, the name TriCaster comes from the fact that it broadcasts to three things at once, to the web, using Flash Media Encoder, Windows Media 11 or VC1. It also broadcasts out to traditional television, so you could take an SDI feed out to a microwave or an uplink. And then the third is to digital signage. There's an HDMI output on the back and you can send it out to your projectors or your LED video boards. What are you finding in terms of um, you know, live broadcasting, which had been more perhaps for industry or sports events? What's happening? Well, the concept with TriCaster is not to take a show that was going to be done with a television truck and move it to TriCaster. We wanted to allow shows that would have never rolled in a truck to be produced. So we're changing the entire cost structure and the entire pricing structure of doing live television. And so we're seeing it being adopted from the highest levels of the MTV using it at the movie awards and Miss Universe using it to stream the crowning moment all the way to fifth graders in Las Vegas doing a daily newscast with the same device. So it's powerful enough for the high-end broadcasters who really don't have the same budget constraints and it's easy enough to use for those, those elementary students because when we designed it to make portable live production successful we knew we had to make it portable affordable and the most important is it needed to be easy to use because we're bringing new people into live television that aren't people that are used to sitting in a truck. What about the issues of connectivity on a live show and uh, how tough is that? I mean not to sort of get into the weeds too deeply but you know we're here at a I guess a, an industrial uh, uh, event space but how does that work and can it work through wireless or through mobile connections? You know it can just because it can doesn't mean you should we've done some tests with like the New York Giants where we took a Verizon cellular modem and plugged it into the TriCaster and actually streamed it was very low quality but we did a stream but the great thing about streaming video is you you only need a, a, a reasonable pipe out of the venue so if you have a cable modem or DSL and you can do a three to five hundred case up stream then you're good because the the real work work is done by your delivery network if you're going to stream it through one of the CDNs they provide that distribution so really you know we did a, a webcast for GQ magazine or we worked with GQ where we went to a bar in the village set up a tricaster on a on a rickety table in the bar set up three cameras and did a live webcast and just plugged it into the bar's DSL and went out to gq.com live from a bar in, in the village outstanding you guys are live streaming this event yeah, we're live streaming from the, uh, the Digitas New Front. And uh, we're actually streaming out to Ustream, to Justin, to Revision 3, of course, but also to AdAge, to MediaPost. The idea being that streaming to just one service is so 2007. We're all about streaming to as many different services as possible, just like CNN is on all these different cable systems. Why not? You see over here, watch you know, talk about advertisers, and I just wanted to mention that, I mean, I, it's so exciting to just to go Justin, back to what you were saying about television and advertisers. Yeah. It's exciting to see, uh, you know, I think any product that sells, yeah. that's what's exciting. And I feel like there's so many opportunities to create you know, um, integrated content. I always lean to the funny too, you know, I mean it sounds like everybody